wondering if this is born as a national story born out of fantasy football. You know? Because I have Brandon Ayuk, and I'm fascinated by this story. I had him last year. Um, and I'm just wondering if that's what it is. Because this is a local story. The Niners are obviously, I think that's the beauty of the NFL. And that the Niners are a national team. But so is every team in the NFL, right? I know the games are regionalized, but anybody in the NFL, is a, it's a national story because it's the NFL. Baseball is a totally regionalized sport right now, and there's only a handful of national teams. So maybe I should mo- modify it and say that there's a, a, a lion's share of the NFL teams are national teams and then a smaller group that's regional. And, the re- and it's only regional because they, they don't have enough wins to be national. Because any team that... Wins in the NFL is a national team. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, the, the 49ers have a, a, a very, very rabid fan base. Mm-hmm. And Brandon Ayuk was a terrific rookie receiver last year for the 49ers. And then, poof, just disappeared in week one. And the Lions, whose coach Dan Campbell is going to be on tomorrow's show, by the way, in advance of the Monday nighter against the Packers to wrap up week two that starts tonight between the Washington football team and the Giants, that I don't understand how he got nothing. And the Niners still put up a 40-burger on the lines with some defensive help, too. So the question is, is what, what gives? I don't know if, you know, if you're interested in this because you have Ayuk like me or you're facing him or whatever, or you're just a Niner fan, or you're just wondering what what goes through the mind of Kyle Shanahan. Because everybody figures he's in the doghouse right now. But he also had a hamstring injury that did not allow him to practice. And Trent Sherfield, who's a receiver that nobody has probably in their fantasy, not even in your 14-team league even, right? Nope. Okay. So... He's clearly, if if he's not on your fantasy roster and you're not a diehard fan looking at the second and third players on your team's depth chart, then you really have never heard of him outside of the Sherfield household. So what gives? Here was Kyle Shanahan's response. And as you know, this is a guy who just spot on tells the truth every single time. And we're all looking for some passive aggressivity from this guy. Check it out. I mean, I'm not trying to sing out any specifics because it's it's like every player. you got to grow in every single area. Um, so, And when it's being – I know this is all being to kind of – like we're punishing Ayuk or something because Trent got even reps with him or we rotated those guys. I'm not going to sit here and say he's got to do the A, B, and C to get back out there. It's more we've been practicing the last month and one guy's been there every day and I think the quarterback's got a lot of confidence in him. I do. God, I thought that was my phone, man. Jeez. Um, but, yeah, he just – if he wants to be out there every single play, he's got to be a lot better than the guy behind him. So, he's not out there because the other guy's better, right? Do you get that from the last comment, that you got to be better than the guy that's in front of you? He's got to be much better than the guy behind you. Right. So he's still... So that's what I'm saying. He's not as good as the guy in front of him. See, I took or he's that, not much better than the I guy in front is, of yeah, him. I think that is, yeah, Ayuk is not that much better than Sherfield, so that's why they're both getting reps. And they're getting reps because the other guy was hurt, so he was hurt. So that's why he's not out there, but he's also not out there because he's hurt, and he's currently not much better than the guy who's in front of right. him. And now normally, though, you would still, even though a guy's not that much better in, than the guy who's behind him, right? Mm -hmm. Because he's your first round and drafted (laughs) stellar rookie from last year, you're going to still put him out there because he's that guy. And you're going to give him that benefit of the doubt because you've already seen him, unless he has shown up in a manner that's kind of grinded your gears a little bit. Mm Mm-hmm. Sure sounds like they're teaching him a lesson, don't you think? Of some sort? It does sound like a tough love situation. Yeah. Also, it's like, it's kind of like the quarterback. You got the sense, listening to Kyle Shanahan talk in the preseason, that he wanted Trey Lance to kind of take the number one spot and beat out Jimmy G, and he didn't. I don't know if he wanted him to. He gave him the opportunity to. And he, and he, but, he, but he didn't do it. 
And so it's kind of like here, like he wants Ayuk to be that dude, like be a number one, number one. And he's just not there yet. So there's kind of. Has he, has he <clears throat> turned, it up, turned up the heat on practice this week yeah, or what? Sounds like it. After they put up 40 points. Yeah, but they gave up. <laughs> yeah, but it was all garbage time. I don't. I don't read. Not that all of that. it was garbage. I mean, well, guess what? I mean, Debo put one on the floor. True. The uh, special teams special teams did not a little bit did not get an onside kick recovered, which is a rarity. Yeah. So, you know, there's some mistakes to be cleaned up as always in an NFL team, but this one is just fascinating to me. I just love Kyle Shanahan, man. I also think... What a division. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.